Hey guys, let's check out some more toys on BigBadToyStore.com. Again, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. It's just kind of fun to look at what's new and what's upcoming. So let's check out some pre-orders that just popped up recently. And we'll see what they have on offer. And some Avengers Marvel stuff as usual. Big robots. Fortnite Big Mouth. I don't know what this is. I don't play Fortnite. Um, looks pretty cool. I don't know what this is, though. 7-inch. It's a nice size figure. I tried to play Fortnite, and it was kind of one of those games where I was sort of glad I didn't get it because, I mean, it's so huge and it's so uh, addicting in a good way, I guess, but just didn't really grab me, so... I had the same experience with Pokemon, where I played a Pokemon game. I played the demo of one of the ones on the 3DS. I can't recall which one, but I was so glad that I didn't really get it and didn't really like it because I was just like, I don't need another thing taking up so much of my free time. So even though those games are really, really popular, I was kind of glad that I didn't get into either of them. This is a cool figure, though. 25 bucks for a 7 inch figure that with a lot of detail. I like that. This Rambo figure, I took a long look at when I first saw it, I think on Instagram maybe. And I'm a big Rambo fan, especially the first movie. Uh, this looks more like the second movie. But the price is actually decent. This is a 12 inch figure, so 1 6 scale. $189.99 is, is a fair price. Um, for me though, it's, it looks good, it's just not quite there for me, and, and that's a lot of money for me, so I don't want to spend frivolously if I'm not 100% happy with it. I think this is probably a, almost as good as they could have gotten it, but for me it's just not quite there. First thing you have is... The same thing as that Ace Ventura figure. See how the joints are exposed like that? A little bit on his shoulder, too. I just don't like that. And there's really no way around it, uh, in fairness to the manufacturers. It's just, that's just one of the things you run into where, if, if it's a character that wears a t-shirt or something like that, and you see his elbows, it seems like they've kind of worked around it on his elbows. Uh, I don't know if that would mean that this would get creases in it over time or not. But that's not too bad. The face looks good. I really like the face. I think they got it really, really close. Um, I mean, he comes with the bow and arrow from the second movie. Comes with a lot of stuff from the second movie. For me, it's mostly just... It's his hair. He has a little bit of helmet hair going on here. And he did have a lot of hair in the second movie. Oh, it actually says Rambo 3. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think he looks pretty similar to uh, to what he looks like in the second movie. But regardless, I think the likeness is really good. It's just this... It's a little bit these joints and a little bit the hair. It's just... I've seen... A, I saw another figure like this recently, and I can't remember which one it was, where it just... The hair just looked kind of like a big lump. And it didn't really look natural at all. Um, so it's just, it's so close. It's, it's, it's like the Ace Ventura one, honestly. It's so close. It's just, I can't get over that hair. The accessories are right on. I mean, you got the rocket launcher, some kind of rifle, you know, the bow and arrow. It, it's all there. It's just, um, I just... I'm, it's so close for me, it's just not quite there. So yet another one where I won't just pull the trigger and buy it. But that's kind of by design, too. I really don't want to end up with 5 million figures in my house that are that big. Um, I already have one, and I have a couple more on the way. And I already need another shelf, because between the 6th scale figure that I do have, the Obi-Wan Mythos, and the smaller NECA figures that I have... I already need to buy another display case. So that's kind of by design that I'm really stingy like that. These look like some classic throwback figures, the Phantom, things like that. 
These turtle patches look pretty cool. I'm not really a patch person, but if I was, I'd definitely be getting at least one of those. Some tumblers. I can't really buy myself, bring myself to buy a tumbler of any kind. Um, at this point, I think I've gotten a handful of them for free, and I already had a couple more. So let's see how much these are. Yeah, I mean it's forty bucks for you're basically paying for twenty dollars of that is basically this design. Uh, the other twenty you can just get something at Target or Walmart or something like that. So these are everywhere. They're they're given away if you're just in one of those situations where you get free stuff, like just for my work, stuff like this gets given away a lot. So it's hard to justify 40 bucks for another one. I don't even know what this car is. It's a Venom car. Okay, not really for me. What's this? A Groot Volkswagen VW bus. What will they think of next? Some Halloween stuff. I guess Halloween is going to be sneaking up on us here. <laughs> These are funny. Not really my style, but kind of cool. They're doing fresh print stuff. <laughs> this is interesting. This nostalgic electronic show. So these are just little accessories for your figures. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering what figures you might use these with, but... A 12th scale refrigerator. <laughs> they get this old TV, these old fans. This looks like maybe a gas pump or something. I'm actually not. I, I'm not actually not sure what that is. Oh, it says a washing machine. Wow, that is an old washing machine because I've never seen one like that. <laughs> All kinds of little stuff. It's hard to read the writing to see what this stuff is. That's a stereo, obviously, which it does describe. This is a cooking heater. I guess that's like a little stovetop thing. I don't know, a little radio over here. Neat stuff. Not really something I would have a use for, but pretty cool. Let's see what this symbiote Spider-Man looks like. 589 bucks. What are we looking at here? Two, two feet tall. That's pretty sizable. I like the sculpt, as far as I can tell. Base is kind of okay. I don't love it. Looks like that's about 60% of the, t the t two feet that we're talking about. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. For almost $600, you're paying for a big part of that stand. I don't know. I like this sculpt though quite a bit. So hard to spend over $500 on something when you're like, man, what could I do with $500 besides buy a statue that's going to just sit there? But uh, if you've got the money to burn, go for it. What's this Mario stuff? Bowser playset. 45 bucks. That's pretty fun. That's kind of a throwback to a lot of the 80s toys that I'm used to seeing. And these dioramas. Just click on one of these. I kind of like these. Look at this. $23. It's kind of fun. It doesn't come with a lot of accoutrements, though. You've got Mario, a platform, and a couple blocks, and a mushroom. Not a whole lot to play with, necessarily. There's a bunch of them. They're fun, I'll say that. Let's look at this one, see if it has any more stuff with it. I like that. This, has, this seems to have a couple more things with it. Yeah, look at that. I've honestly never seen Mario make this specific pose. So it's kind of weird they chose that, and you can't really... Doesn't look like you can move him around too much, so you wouldn't be able to do kind of an action scene. I've seen him do this. We've seen this before. I've never seen this where he's just kind of standing with the fist up. Those are fun, though. Pretty inexpensive as well. Again, let me know in the comments, as always, if you guys see something cool that I missed. 
what the hell? These are like voodoo dolls from Fist of the North Star. <laughs> $40. They're four and a half inches tall. There's a lot of texturing on his hair and the clothes. Some detail here. I can't say there isn't any detail on them. More so texture than detail, but... Even on his face, you can see that it has kind of like a canvas cloth sort of um, texture to it, even though this is obviously plastic. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, you know, someone's buying them somewhere, but I don't get it. DC Reboot? Let's take a look at this Joker here. I don't like the face. Uh, I'm big on the face with the Jokers. Yeah, that's not even, I don't know, maybe there's another drawing of him that looks closer than that, to that. I hate when they do poses like this, because no one's ever posing him like that, unless you're putting a big, huge ring around his waist to hold him. Joints are kind of, I don't know, there's like some bolts in his, <laughs> looks like Frankenstein. And he's got it on his arms, too. Not a bad Joker figure. I like the colors. I still like the purple suit and all that. Kind of a classic. Not loving the face on that one, though. Oh, and we have... <clears throat> excuse me. We have Batman the Man... The Batman Who Laughs. Let me tell you something, okay? They've been doing a lot of merchandise for the Batman Who Laughs. I'm going to save you a little bit of trouble. The Batman Who Laughs is one of the worst graphic novels I've ever read. It's also definitely the worst Batman graphic novel I've ever read. Um, the character concept looks cool. And you can kind of see why they're putting out a lot of merchandise from this book. I'm telling you it's awful though. I'll save you 20 bucks or whatever the book would cost. It is just a mishmash of, I can't even, it's just so sloppy and just all over the place and just, it was a slog to get through. Just terrible. I've read some before that were just ho-hum. The Batman Who Laughs was just, uh, it, it, I could barely get through it. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about a purchase there. Super Mario Treats at Home Halloween Set. I guess Halloween really is coming up. What do we got here? Invite friends and family to see you in costume. These look like grown... Well, that looks like a kid and a grown man and... A mom? I don't know. Ten treats to open during your virtual visits. Oh, okay, here we go. Ten invitations. Okay, so this is for a Zoom trick-or-treat. Okay, that's something there. Well, that's all it shows. Or is this like an ad? No, oh, this is like an advent calendar, I suppose. Okay, well, there's no costumes, I don't think. Let's see. Open up treats during your virtual visits. Okay, so this is a glorified advent calendar for Halloween. Uh, I guess whatever floats your boat. It's uh, interesting to see how these companies are parlaying COVID into something they can sell you. Um, you know, it's it's a, it's an advent calendar that they want you to make your friends and family sit on Zoom while you open it. So, whatever. Uh, sure. Let's see. This is kind of a nice RoboCop figure. $125. Six and a half inches, roughly. Hmm. Seems like he should have a little bit more wear on him, but uh, it's a look I could see some people being interested in. <laughs> what is he doing there? I don't understand that. It's like a dog about, is about to jump at him. <laughs> like there should be a dog right here. Like, <laughs> That's funny. There's a little bit of scoring and, and uh, marks on his chest there, so that's pretty cool. Oh, wait, let me go back here. Oh, 
and oh and on his face there okay so there's some interchangeable parts here that I'm not seeing because he's clean as a whistle here I don't know about his mouth there that looks a little weird to me wow <laughs> that's fun okay that's a nice little compartment where his gun comes out as you do yeah. Not too bad. There's a couple different mouths. <laughs> I missed where uh, we swapped out the mouths, but that's kind of nice. Anguished expression included. <laughs> Gotta love that. Let's see what else we're working with here. A golem mask. Wow, that looks really detailed. These both look really scary. <laughs> I have not thought about Halloween for a second, but here we are. There's three, four, five Halloween things I've seen on here. Bunch of keychains. Is anyone still buying keychains? Maybe you put one of these on your backpack, maybe, but is anyone buying. Like, I, I love Star Wars. You know, these look like nice keychains. Do I need one? No, not really. Um. $11 isn't even bad. It's not great, but it's not bad for a pewter keychain. But it's weird. Like, keychains are one of those things where it's like before the internet and before things were just like cheaply made and given away all the time. You know, you'd see a keychain on vacation or something. Maybe you'd grab one. Same with like a fridge magnet or something or like a mug. Now it's like. We have, we have more fridge magnets and mugs than we even want, and we're not even trying to buy any more of them. So uh, keychains are kind of like that too. It's kind of like a personalized thing that you don't really need anymore to show off your personality. You know, you, people have so many screen names and avatars and things like that now. It's like, do you really need a keychain on top of it? But 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 the thing is too is. On my keychain, I don't. I have a bunch of keys, obviously, and I've got this huge key fob that unlocks my car. So to add something else, it's like now we're getting extremely bulky. Throwing that in my pocket, and plus, no one cares. No one cares what keychain I have. You know, when we were younger, and maybe computers weren't so big, and like I said, there was less things to personalize. You know, maybe, uh, maybe you'd do that, but. Not so inclined now. Here's a Vincent Van Gogh <laughs> one six scale figure. We'll wrap up with this. Two hundred sixty dollars. Holy shit. Wow, okay. Wow. Kind of a specific audience we're going for here. It looks really nice for what it's worth. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the likeness. Um I don't know what Vincent Van Gogh looked like. I know the self-portrait he did. It looks kind of like that. Uh, are there any pictures of the guy? I don't know. I'm, I, I don't believe so, but I could be wrong. Got the Starry Night there. Got a little bit of paint on him, sort of. That's really nice. Paint box. Really looks worn and used and kind of lived in looks that looks awesome I don't know how many people would be interested in this for $260 uh, I think a lot of people would appreciate it but uh, I don't know I mean he's got paint on him here it looks really I mean if this was something I was interested in I'd be going crazy right now so there's someone out there that fits this demographic of someone looking for $260 action figures who are also huge fans of Vincent Van Gogh. Um, I'm not sure how many people fit that bill, but you know, if if it fits if it, if it fits your uh, interest, that's a great great figure. I kind of like everything about it, to be honest with you. Other than I'm not just I'm just not that interested in it. So, we'll end on that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this again. If I skip through something cool, let me know in the comments. And if there's stuff that I'm skipping past that maybe I'm not as interested in that you wish I'd show more of, like, I don't know, Gundam or Spider-Man or Avengers or whatever, 
just um, let me know. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.